Hello everyone, welcome to ACE Weekly. My name is Avalala and I go through tips and strategies that you can use in your online or offline business that you can use to just improve your business. I also teach about ways that you can create your own earning opportunities with the various skills that you learn. Now, you may notice that if you're a regular ACE Weekly follower, this session is different. I'm actually on my phone and this is not a live session this week, but I'm going to be showing you a bit of using Google Docs on your phone. Now, a lot of people have a smartphone and they want to create an earning opportunity, but they think that they need to have a computer in order to do certain things. So I want to show you that you can use Google Docs, which is just like Microsoft Word, and you can use it on your phone. So the first thing you'd have to do is make sure that you go to the Play Store if you're using an Android and you would download the Google Docs app. So I'm using Android, so I'm gonna search here and search for Google Docs. So I spelled Google incorrectly. All right, so Google Docs. So I actually have it on my phone already, but I'm just showing you how to go about getting it. So type in Google Docs, then press the search icon and you see that it says Google Docs. This is what you want. So I'm just gonna open it since I already have it, but if you don't, you would install it. So here I have my Google Docs. So I'm just gonna go through an overview of what it looks like on a mobile. Now this icon right here, these four, what's that? What, six, six areas, six squares, that tells you what to do for the layout. So if I touch it, you see that the layout of this doc looks different. So you actually see it looking like a preview, but if I click it again, it's showing it like a list. So this actually shows you like a preview of the document. And then when I click it again, it shows a list. So that's how you will, you can decide how you want to arrange your files. Now, these three lines here on the top right, or top left, these are the menu options. So when you click it, it shows you the menu options that you have here. Now, what happens is that it's good to have Google Drive installed on your phone as well. So you would go to the Play Store and install that too, because even though I have Google Docs open, it's actually saving whatever I'm doing on Google Drive. So make sure that you have a Google Drive app downloaded as well. So here, if I touch the recent area, it's gonna show my recent files shared with me. Anybody who has shared any Google Docs with me, it will show them there. Any Google Docs I've starred, like I want to be able to find them at another time, it will show me that. I can set it that I can view these files offline. Bin is trash. Notifications is where I'd get in the notifications that something has happened on my Google Docs. In the settings area now, you see that there are different things here. There's a section that you can choose the theme. So if we click this, I can choose a dark theme. So notice that everything gets dark. So if you want a dark theme, you can do that. Or if you want to go back to light. And as you saw, that system default is what it's usually on. And that, of course, is light. So here we have the notification settings. So you can decide how you want things to happen. So do you want to all dock notifications? What do you want to set up? So you can just leave those as they are. Now, notice that I use this arrow here on the top left to go back. Always remember that. That allows you to go back to where you were. So we have a document creation area. So create Word files, show options for creating Word files beside Google Doc files. So if you want that option, you leave it toggled. If you don't, then you, you turn it off. So offline, make recent files avail available offline. Now, the reason that's a good thing to do is that sometimes you may lose connection and you can continue to work on your Google Doc. So always keep that option on. So it says recent files will automatically be made available offline on this device. Data usage, transfer files only over Wi-Fi, uploading and updating of files will pause when Wi-Fi connection isn't available. So you can leave that setting on. And there's a clear cache area here that you can explore as well. So you click the back arrow here to go back. So here we have the area here. So this particular Drive, Google Drive only has one Google Doc on it. So as I said, make sure that you have both Google Drive and the Google Docs app installed on your phone. So I'm gonna open this existing doc just so that you see 
what it can look like so when you touch it you actually open it but you can't do any kind of editing in there as yet so when you open it you will view the file view the content but if you want to edit it you have to touch the screen and you'll see a pencil icon come up that is the universal edit button so if you touch this pencil icon now on the bottom right then you are able to edit notice that your keyboard comes up you can touch and see the cursor blinking in different parts of the document so note that when you are doing your file so you can scroll up scroll down and all these things if you want to come out of the file you click this tick here on the top left to come out of the file basically saving the file and if you want to come out of the file section altogether to go back to where your other files are stored you click this arrow right here the back arrow now notice that the document has three option dots on it so if you want to do something read this particular document let's see what these three options show us so these three options show the following so you can add the document to the starred area so remember we said that starred is like favorites where you want to keep track of certain files so if you want to be able to find your files easily without searching through all of the documents that you have you can star them and go to the start section and you'll see everything there share share allows you to share the file with other persons so that they can work on it as well or you just want them to view what's there manage people and links make available offline all these different things you can do to the file so let's look on the most important one because when you create your google doc you want to be able to share it with persons so these three options are what you look through so that you can find out how you go about sharing so when you touch the share option here it gives you the option to share to person's actual email so you could type in an actual email address right here or you can decide that you want at the bottom here where you say it says who has access you can just decide that you want to share it as an open link that anybody who has this link has access to it so you notice that it says not shared so if i click this padlock icon it takes me to this area here and gives me the option now to decide what kind of link i want to share so here it says link settings and it says restricted only people added can open with the link so if you want this to be an open link that you want to share with persons touch change and then here where it says restricted click the arrow and then you see there's an option that says anyone with the link so when you touch this it will change it and let anyone with the link can open it but what can the person do so remember that what I'm showing you here for those who are just watching the session, what I'm showing you is that we're using Google Docs on the comp on the app on your phone. So it's a bit different from how it is when you're using this on the computer. So here you have how the person can access the file. So when you touch this arrow here, you have these three options. They can be a viewer, a commenter, or an editor. So depending on what you want the person to be able to do, you would choose the appropriate option here. All right. So if I want the person to just look at it and can't make any changes, I would choose viewer. If I want them to just comment on it, and of course they can view it, I can choose commenter. And if I want them to be able to make changes, comment, view everything, I can choose editor. So you will choose the kind of access the person has. So let's say I want them to be able to make changes. You notice it says anyone on the internet with this link can edit if i change it to viewer it says anyone on the internet with this link can view and if i change it to commenter it says anyone with this link can view and comment so i'm going to change it back to editor and then if i want to share this link now i would touch the link itself at the top right and notice what it says at the bottom link copy to clipboard so if I want to share this with someone, whether it be in email or I want to put it on a Facebook post or anything like that, that's how I would go about it. And then remember that this top arrow on the left allows you to go back to where you're coming from. So I'm going back and I'm clicking this X right here to come out of that. So right now that link is copied in my library and I can paste it somewhere so that I can share it. So I'm actually going to open 
another app that I like to use, WPS. I'm going to open this and I'm going to close this. I'm going to open a new file and show you what the link looks like. So let's look and see what this link looks like when it's pasted, if it will open. <laughs> All right, so let's let's go back out of this. All right, so it's opening. So don't pay this app any mind. I can look at this app at another time if you want to. You can let me know. It's called WPS. So I'll just hold down on the page, press it, and then press paste. So this is what the link looks like. So you notice it's a very long link. And then anyone with this link, based on what I chose, can do what? Edit, comment, and view the file. All right? So I'm going to go back to the Google Doc area where we're at. So let's go back here. All right? So let me find where I was so we can go back to exactly where we were. So this was the file that I was on. All right? So remember, this is Google Docs. And remember, you need to have Google Drive as well installed on your phone. So there are some other options that we saw. So when we touch back the same option, so we were on shared. So there's another area that says manage people and links. So you see that that gives you the same kind of option. Same thing that I did. So you saw what we did there. So that's another way of getting into it. We also have copy link. So what copy link would do is that if you choose that, it's going to copy the settings however it was. So if you did not change those settings, however you send that link, it will be the default setting. So have you ever received a Google Drive link, a Google Doc link from someone and you have to request access because you have no access because the person did not change the default setting. So if you just randomly copy the link, if you're picking up whatever settings were in the app. So you have to change that so that the person can edit if you wanted them to edit or have access. All right, so here we have the send a copy. So you can send a copy of this to someone. So with Google Docs, you can actually send a Microsoft Word version of the document. You can send a PDF version. All of these options are here. So even if you do not have Microsoft Word here on your phone using Google Docs, you can send a Microsoft Word version of the document to someone. All right. So Let's look and see the other options. So there's make a copy. So if you want to duplicate this particular file, you can click make a copy and it will allow you to name the file and then you can choose where you want to save it. So here it says folder. So I'm just going to call this copy. Type in copy. And then here it says folder. When you click the arrow here, where you have my drive, you can choose where you want to save this particular document right now there's nothing else on this drive here there's no additional folder or anything like that so i will just make it save exactly right there in my drive itself and it's going to open the copy so that you can look at it and it will show you what's there all right so let's click back and you see it there in the my drive so let's click back and see what other options so you have options to download the file so since you're on google drive now on Google Docs on your phone. If you're downloading, it's downloading the file to your phone. So it's no longer on Google Drive. Yes, it's still on Google Drive, but it's also stored on your phone if you click download. So let me click download and you see it says down the bottom, one item will be downloaded and such. All right, so that's how you would download from the Google Drive. So let's look and see what other options. So the, the reason this option is here, save as Google Docs, is that that particular document you see me have, it's not an actual Google Doc. It is a Microsoft Word file that I have stored right there. So that's why I have this option as saving it as a Google Docs. So the great thing about Google Drive, having it on your phone, the app, is that you can store your regular Microsoft Word files on it, your Microsoft Excel and all those files. You can store those files on the drive itself and then you can open them as whatever applications are on Google Drive. So remember, Google Drive has Google Docs. For those who didn't know, you have Google Sheets and you have Google Slides. So you can open Microsoft Word, 
Microsoft Excel and Microsoft PowerPoint files using Google Drive and open them as the applications that are on Google Drive, which is Google Docs, Google Sheets, and Google Slides. So here you can rename the file. So if you want to change the name, you can touch rename and change the name here, and then you would click rename. So as you can see what other options are here. So there's an option about adding a shortcut to the drive. So you can have a shortcut to it on your Google Drive. So let's say this particular file was in a folder somewhere on your drive. You can have it in the folder there. You can have it in another folder and you can have it just randomly stored on the drive and make changes to it. So you don't have to necessarily go to the original place where it is. Once a copy is there, once a shortcut is there, you can still access the file. So remember, we're looking on these options here for this particular document. How do we manipulate it or make changes or how do we do certain actions? So we see that there's an action to move it. So you can move your files from place to place on your Google Drive. So remember, as I said, even though we're looking on Google Docs, we're on Google Docs, it, it is combined with Google Drive because they're linked. Google Drive allows you to have certain application files that you have access to, and Google Docs is one of them. So you can print the file, you can add it to your home screen. Let's look and see what that looks like. So let's click Add to Home Screen, and then it's bringing up this here, and then I click Add, and we're going to check soon to see what that looks like. And then you have an option that says Remove. Remove allows you to delete the option from your drive, your Google Drive. So you can remove the file. So remove is like delete. So let's come out of this and go to the home screen and see that it made, see right here, it made a shortcut to it. So I can touch it and I'll be able to open the doc. So that's what that allowed me to do. So I, if, if there's a doc that you want to find easily and you know you're working on it, that option allowed you to be able to as we saw, the option was add to home screen. All right, and remember remove would delete it. So let's look and see what an actual, how would you go about manipulating an actual Google Doc on the app? So remember we're using this on our phone. You can use your smartphone to do so many things. A lot of people are not utilizing their smartphone a lot. You're using it for maybe leisure, pleasure purposes, fun. Not to say that you can't use it like that, but your smartphone can be your opportunity to earn. You don't have to necessarily have a laptop in the, to enable yourself to be able to earn. It may be a little bit more difficult in the sense of because of the size of your smartphone, but when you're a determined person and you want to make sure that you're having this earning opportunity, you do what it takes and get the work done. So this plus icon right here is what allows you to open what you want to do. So here you can choose a template. Let's see what that looks like. So you can choose a template here. So there are templates on Google Drive, resumes, all these things, letters, all these different things here, essays, reports. You can look at lesson plans, project proposal, meeting notes. Let's just click on one of them. This is a brochure thing. So let's touch it and see what it looks like. You're going to hear me say click. I'm used to being on the computer, but you know what I'm doing. I'm touching it. So this is your template and you can go through and manipulate as such. Remember, as I showed you before, to edit the, whatever you open, let's say you open a template, to be able to edit it, touch the template, touch the document, and then you click the edit icon, which is the pencil icon, to be able to edit, manipulate and such. And then the tick allows you to save and come out of that file. So we're going to click back here and go back to the plus. So on mine, I have the option to open a new Word file because I do have Microsoft Word app installed here. So that's maybe why I'm seeing one of these features. Let's look and see if it's opening. Or look, it seems as if the app itself has an option for you to open a Microsoft Word looking file. So you can check that out. But we want to look on the actual Google Docs. So here it says new Docs file. So I'm going to touch this option here. So this is what the file looks like. So if I want to type, as you see here, I have my keyboard, so I can type anything I want. So let's say I want to, to write about Fiverr.com. That's an online platform that you can use to earn. So Fiverr is a digital, 
is a website, let's say it's a website that allows you to offer digital services. Notice that when you're typing, it just goes to the next line online. All right, to persons all over the world. And I press the full stop. Now I have my text typed here. So if I want to bold somewhere, I can just double click on the word and it gives me these options coming up, cut, paste, all these things, but I want to bold it. So see, I have my toolbar here. So I just click bold. I can choose italize. I can use the underline to underline. And I can use this icon here, which is the A with the line to change the color of the text. So I can change it to purple. All right. And then I choose the purple color here just to make sure. And then when I click the tick, it will register that it has been done. All right. So if I want to have a heading, I can touch up here and then press the enter key to bring it down, have some space. And I'm going to touch back at the top and I'm going to write the heading Fiverr platform. And then after that, now I want to bold all of this. I'm going to double click on all of it or I can just double click on the one part. And if it has selected part of it, you notice I have two little bars, two little icons here. So I can touch this one here on the left and drag it to to highlight the other parts. Let me, I have spelled platform incorrectly. Notice that I have the auto cut correct helping me so I can double click again and then I can use this bar to select. So I want to center. So notice that here I have the alignment and I have by default, it's on left alignment. So the bottom one is center. The third one is right. And the last one is justify where you have even left and right margin. So I'm going to center it. I'm going to change the color as well. So let's change this color to purple. So you saw how I had done that earlier. So I click the tick to come out. And then I want to bold it. And then I want to deselect it. All right. So let's double click it again. Select. All right. So this option here now, this A with these lines. That's where you get more options. So I can change the font style, not this, the type of font. I can change the style. So you have normal, so and so. So let's say if it's a heading, I would may want to use the heading one, or just leave it at normal text. You can you can explore these, but most times we just actually adjust the size how we want. So right here the size is eleven, so I want it to be higher. So I can actually just go up or down. All right, so go up or down. So I'm going to click to go up. I can change the type of font. So let's say I choose this one right here and I use the arrow to go back. Remember that back arrow. I can highlight it if I want. Remember, there's a highlight feature that allows you to maybe you want to choose a color. Usually people choose yellow to highlight. So these are all being done on the text because I've already selected it. It's selected, but I don't want to highlight it, but I just want to show you that that option is there. So if I don't want any highlight, I go on none and I click back. And I can clear all formatting. Notice I took off the font size, the type of font, the color, all the format came off. So it's as easy as that. And I, as, I, as I said, this is how you do it on the app. All right. So I'm just going to put back my formatting. So I'm going to come back here. I'm going to click the tick to, to come back to where I was. Remember, I wanted it centered. So I'm going to center it. I'm going to bold it. All right. So that's how we would do that on the app. Isn't that quite easy? Let me know in the comments. Isn't that easy? So we're doing what we were able to do on the computer and we're doing it on the app quite easily. All right. So click this plus icon here and this brings up these other options. So if you wanted to make a particular word a link for instance you may want to have someone click on that word and it takes them to another website from your google doc that's what that link does so for instance let's say for website or even the word fiverr i want that when they're viewing this document i want that when they see fiverr they can click the word Fiverr and it takes them to the Fiverr website. So let me show you how to do that. 
So I'm going to double tap five up and then go back to the plus. And here, when I click link, it's going to ask me what text I want it to be. I want it to stay on Fiverr. And then for link, it's asking me, where do you want it to take people? Where do you want to go? Where do you want this file to take person? That, that word, when they touch it, where do you want them to take them? And I want it to take them to Fiverr.com. And see how Google is so helpful. Google Docs, it actually shows me the website. So I can just select it. If it didn't show me, then I could just type it in from scratch. Now, for these links, always make sure you have your HTTPS, colon, all of that. Make sure you have all of that, all right? And I will select by doing the tick to register it, and then we go back. So notice now that the word Fiverr is blue. So when I touch it, look what happens. It's showing me now on the phone that I can open. Let me touch it again. I can open. The website, I can edit the link or I can remove the link. So let's look and see what open does. So when I go to open, it's going to take me to another area and opens the website, fiverr.com. All right. So we actually created a link in this document. So we're linking that word. So when people see that word and touch that word, it will take them to Fiverr. All right. So let me go back to my document here. All right. So. That's how we do that. So let's go back on the plus and see what else we could have done. So we have other options. If I want to go in a new line, just press my enter icon on my keyboard. So the plus also allows us to be able to insert images. We can insert pages. And remember, plus is usually like add. Add, it allows you to add other things. So you can insert an image, a table, horizontal line. See, you can just drop a line there if we wanted to. We can insert a table, page numbers, footnote, all these things. All these, these things you can explore depending on the type of document you're creating. You can add more things to your document by clicking that plus icon. So as I said, you're able to do this on the computer easily, but some people don't know that you can do the same thing on your app, on your smartphone, and create a document for someone. And then you can send them the Microsoft Word version of that document because you are able to save and download this file as a Microsoft Word file. So let's pretend that we're finished with our file, right? And we click this icon right here, as I said, that allows us to save it. Notice that here it says untitled document. Now the great thing about Google Docs, it's automatically saving your file. Even though I did not save anything, it automatically saves what you are doing. And you have the option to name your file. So I'm going to touch it right here. And then I'm going to call. And it picks up what the first line says. So since the first line of the document actually is what I want to save the file as, I will leave it there. But I could actually erase this and type in my own thing. But I leave it. So notice that this now changes to Fiverr platform. And my file is now saved. So what do I do with my file? I've created my file for my client. It's now saved on my Google Drive. How we know when we click this back arrow here, see it right here saved, right here it's saved. So I want to give the client this file. So to give it to them, I click the three dots here and I can share this file with the person. Remember, we can share it, the link with them. And if we share the link with them, they're able to actually edit it and so on. But suppose they want the actual Microsoft Word file. What do we do then? We can give it to them that way as well. So let's open back the file. And there's an option right here. So remember those three dots, but the three dots here give us different options. So remember, when the file is closed, this is what it looks like. But when I open it, I have some other options from these three dots. So when you have your file open, click the three dots, and now you're able to share and export. Share and export. So that gives you the other options here. So just showing you that when the file is open, you do have those other options that you can explore as well. All right, so it's not just when the file is closed. Just wanted to show you that. Now there's a save as option here. So that save as option allows you to save this Google Doc now as a Microsoft Word document on your phone because a lot of persons may not be wanting to use the Google Doc version that you have created, they want Microsoft Word. 
So because you have access to Google Docs, you're able to create this document as a Google Doc, and then you can save it on your phone as a Microsoft Word document and send the file to them so that they can access it in the format that they want. So I'm going to choose Microsoft Word. If they wanted a PDF version, see, you could choose PDF as well. So I'm going to choose Microsoft Word. Well, let's look at and see what the PDF looks like. Let's do Word first. So click OK. And it's saving it as a Microsoft Word document. And it actually opens it. And let me see it. I have Microsoft Word up on my phone. So that's why it, it, it opens it like that. So it may not just open it if you don't have the app. So be aware of that. All right. So it, it is showing it as a Microsoft Word app document as well. And let me go back in it. So I can actually, so let's go back to the Google Doc. So how do we know the Google Doc different from the Microsoft Word? The Google Doc actually has a different logo. So here, this one, the top one is the Google Doc and the bottom one is Microsoft Word. And here you see the Microsoft Word says dot doc X. So let me open it back. I'm going to show you that you can share and export, save as a PDF. So let's look and see what that looks like. So you see that the PDF, it has a different look to it. All right, so this is the PDF version. And then you would touch the icon right here, which is a download icon to download the PDF. So here's a download icon, you download the PDF onto your, your phone, all right? To be able to open the PDF. So I don't have a, the PDF part open right there. That's why that, that option is coming up. So those are the two ways that you can download the file that you've created as a Microsoft Word file or a PDF. Now you would have to know where your downloaded files go on your phone to be able to know, look for that file and email it to the client and send them the completed file so that they can do what they want to. So let's click the arrow to come out. So this was just a brief session showing you some of the things that you can do in Google Docs on your phone you see i could complete a com i can create a complete document from scratch on my phone on google docs save it in a format that my client would want and i can also send them via email so that they can access the document so remember never have any excuses as to why you can't create your own earning opportunities your smartphone is there you have so many apps and free apps at that that you can use to create files and things that people want done right from your phone. So don't think that you have to have a laptop in order to be able to do these kinds of things, all right? So if there are other apps that you want me to look through if, or if you want me to actually present on different apps, let me know. I actually have in the works a series that I plan to call ACE app, A-C-E-A-P-P, so let me know if you want me to do that series where I go through different apps that you can use on your phone and you can create earning opportunities from these apps. So let me know in the comments area if you are interested in that. All right. So remember, if you have anything to share, you can comment as well. Like and share this video with anyone that you think will find it helpful. All right, guys. Take care. Bye.